What? Get it through your thick skull. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like the best YouTuber ever. <laughs> hey y'all, it's a new day. So I look crazy right now, but I just came back from the gym. It is Wednesday, March 8th, and I just want to have a moment to appreciate my skin. I really don't know what's going on. Like if you ask me for a skincare routine, I might be able to give it to you, but I don't know what's happening. Like I feel like my skin has significantly gotten better the past couple of days. And the only thing I've been doing consistently is wearing sunscreen. And I'm not trying to be those people because I know everyone's like, oh my God, wear sunscreen, wear sunscreen. And they're kind of annoying. I've genuinely just been wearing sunscreen and I've been reapplying every two to three hours. And I have significantly noticed a difference in my skin. Like I just feel like it looks so clear like I'm sure like it looked clear before because people would always tell me my skin looks clear but I could never see it now that I can see it it's like whoa this is like different I don't know what's happening I'm not mad at it though <laughs> I'm not mad at it though what did I do this weekend I don't know what I did on the weekend. I didn't do anything on the weekend, actually. Yeah, today's Wednesday, and today I'm going to be filming. That's the only thing on my to-do list today. So it's like, if I don't get filming done, then I'm gonna be highly disappointed in myself. But I really want to film early in the day so I can go and get my nails done. I don't know why. I feel like every time I vlog, it feels like I'm getting my nails done. I promise that's not the case. I just like take forever to vlog, and I feel like when I get my nails done, it seems like an important thing to record, you know? So it seems like I'm always getting my nails done, but that's not the case, like. But let me just y'all what I did today. I went to the gym. It was great. I did chest and triceps. So the triceps are a little sore. Also, update, I contacted an interior designer. I'm waiting for her to send in her like design for my apartment. She's gonna be helping me design the entryway, the bathroom, my, my bedroom, and my living room. I might film some TikToks, cause I have some TikToks that I wanna film. Also, let me know if the vlogs are boring. I'm having um, a hard time figuring out if I only wanna be recording on the weekends when I do stuff or show these boring parts of my days. Like, there's nothing going on today besides filming and errands that's it so okay see y'all yeah, so I decided that I'm gonna film in my bedroom instead of my um, office because you don't hear an echo okay just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit honestly I'm kind of loving the setup like even though the bed is in a frame which I really don't like but like it feels kind of homey it kind of reminds me of like when I first started doing YouTube and I was filming in my bedroom at my parents house like ah. Uh, the bed was in frame, the dresser was in frame. Like that was different. That was such a different time. Let me give y'all like a little haul of what my dress is looking like right now. This is not how it's gonna stay because I only made it look presentable for this video. But let me show you. We have a cute little flower. I just added this here just because it feels right. And then here we have some books. It's a little bit of a confusing bunch. You know, we have It Ends With Us. <laughs> y'all know how that book goes. Atomic Habits. Okay, productivity. And then we have The Holy Bible. I'm a multi-dimensional human being, okay? And then we have a little bit of perfumes here. Let me just keep one here, because this is not all my perfumes. These are just the ones that look like kind of cute together. I don't know, I need to make this look cuter. Like this is like not that cute. I put the rest of my perfumes in my restroom because it's all different types of colors. This was a gift. That's it. Literally, look at this. I didn't expect this to be so tiny. Like, come on, sample size. Having the box makes it look, you know, a little more cute. And then we have my clock, my favorite clock in the world. Love her. And then we have this candle that I got from Target, I'm pretty sure. We need to replace this because this one don't even smell good. I think the last time I burnt this candle was probably 2020. But yeah, this dresser is eventually gonna be revamped. Like I said, once my interior decorator gets this, this room is gonna be completely different. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my skin. Like. <laughs> You cannot say that, you cannot see it. If you can't see it, you a hater. Okay, let me get ready. Okay y'all, so I'm ready to film. It actually took me a lot longer than expected to start filming. In the middle of me filming though, I did decide to film a get ready with me on TikTok. So hopefully I'll be able to edit that today and upload it tomorrow maybe. But yeah, that was cool. And the blonde hair is out. It's so crazy how I initially said the blonde hair was only supposed to be for my birthday. But you know, like this is a yearly thing now. An everyday thing, a daily thing. Cause why look good? for one day of the, out of the year when you could be good 365 days. Every time I'm, I'm about to film, I always like try and buy more time and just like walk around, figure out something to do. I don't know why I do this every time. Like I genuinely feel like it's because I don't film enough. So every time it's time to start filming, I like do things to procrastinate. It's almost the same with me like going out. Like when I go out to run errands, I like take forever to leave the house. I don't know why. Okay y'all, so just finished filming. Right after I was done filming, I had a meeting to join, but now I'm free for the day. I need to eat something because I'm starving. So I 
call this a balanced meal. So we got the egg, which is a protein. We got some spinach on there, which is a veggie. And then we got the bread, which is the carbs. And then we got some fruit, pineapples. Okay, bon appetit. I'm watching Love Island. Right, we're similar, but we're different. Yeah, we are. It is Thursday, March 9th. Y'all, I did not end up doing anything yesterday. I think I literally ate food and that was it. In the vlog and in real life. All I did was lay on my couch and watch Love Island. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to go to the nail shop. They still look the exact same. I was supposed to go to the gym. Let me show y'all my gym fit that I was gonna wear. Okay. We didn't go. But this was supposed to be the gym fit. Also, random life update. I've lost like seven pounds. You know, we're not eating DoorDash. We're not ordering fast food anymore. I'm prepping for summer. Oh my God, like the room is not working. Ugh, I hate feeling stuck. So today I uploaded a vlog. Y'all are loving the vlog. That's why I love vlogging. Like, I just feel like y'all get me. Like, I don't have to force anything. I don't have to do more or less. Like, y'all are just gonna enjoy the vlog and that's all I, I love. I appreciate that for real. Because I really do like vlogging. I just hate thinking of ideas and stuff. And with vlogging, I don't have to think of ideas. So I did that and like, I was honestly like getting over Overwhelmed or underwhelmed. I just felt like I don't I need to be doing something else I genuinely feel like my self-worth is rooted in productivity, which is really really not good But like I had nothing to do because everything that I had on my to-do list I actually accomplished in the beginning of this week And so now I'm playing Sims like I haven't played the Sims in so long I j literally just loaded it right now So I'm gonna try and play it for like an hour or two before Duchess comes over because Duchess and I we're just gonna have like a little hangout. Yeah, I was feeling like low-key not lonely but I was like, whoa, I really don't, I'm not like hanging out with anyone right now because during the week, like people have things to do. Like they have jobs, they have school. Thursdays is usually our day that we come together and hang out because we don't have anything to do on Friday. So the weekend starts on Thursday. So yeah, we're gonna just hang out. And then tomorrow I'm going to be seeing my parents and I have a dentist appointment. But yeah, I'm gonna just play Sims and I'm gonna show y'all what my family ends up looking like because I'm so excited. There's so many new updates. I haven't played Sims in forever. I'm excited. I'm gonna show y'all what I do, okay? Y'all, I haven't played Sims in so long. When did they add pronouns? Like, I didn't know that was a thing. This is so advanced. Change pronouns. They, them. She, her, he, him, wow. I feel like when I play Sims, I always have to dedicate like an entire day to doing it because I want to take time to find custom content, CC, all of that. Like I want, I want it to be a whole experience and I haven't had like a full day where I can just do this. Like even today is not a full day, but I'm still shocked. I'm actually shocked at the fact that they have pronouns now and there's a lot of stuff that they changed. Your name is going to be Malaysia. Oh my God, Malaysia is so cute. Okay, we're keeping that. What's the last name? Malaysia Simmons, oh my God. Usually I like to pick my Sims names, but the randomized options are good. Malaysia Simmons, come on. I'm gonna show y'all what she ends up looking like. Basically, storyline is I have a single mother. Her name is Malaysia Simmons, and she has a daughter. And the daughter's name is Alana Simmons. Let me show y'all. So this is her fit right now. This is I don't know why they have on the winter fit when it is literally spring. And this is a little Alana, so cute, and she's a toddler. And so basically, Malaysia wants to be a successful entertainer in the industry, but she's struggling because she also has a child that she has to take take care of, and she also wants to find love. So we're gonna see if it happens. This is the house you know it's very very humbling and um, we're gonna upgrade a little bit because we got sixteen thousand dollars or simoleons we have sixteen thousand simoleons this is my bedroom and as you can see it's a nice area um we're gonna definitely renovate this place and we're also gonna get malaysia a job oh you need to fix up this this grass it's looking a little dead what's going on over here oh my god duchess might be here so i might have to stop playing oh my god guys duchess is here Hey, hey vlog. To the house, Duchess. <laughs> Would you believe that we're still planning on going out tonight? Wait, let's leave put, leave put the wig on. Yeah, please, yeah. So me and Duchess are having a little bit of drama. She's angry at me for things that I cannot control. I've apologized. Have you? Let's literally think, have you? I've made her feel better about the situation and she doesn't want to forgive me. We're about to get ready. Are we? So we have not left at all. We were just now reenacting Love Island scenes. Zora, can I play for chat? You know, if you're gonna talk to me about Tom again, I, I don't want to hear Honestly, Zora, it. I feel like you don't understand where I'm coming from. Olivia, you don't even understand where you're coming from. You, Zora, I did not fly all the way from London to South Africa to piss you off. I did not do that. Honestly, no, no, I don't want to hear it. You to get to know me, get to know you, okay? And that's perfect. Okay, but I think you're delusional. You keep no, thinking, you keep trying to pull Tom for some chat. And it's pissing me off. Fucking hell. 
That's all she ever does. Don't piss me off. I did not come all the way here to piss you off. Like, you're pissing me off right now. And Tom left you. Get it through your thick skull. We've been watching Love Island and it's a very amazing show. I'm obsessed. Um, I honestly, Jack, you're watching? Hello. Um, he has a girl. Does he have? Tanya. Oh, that's not over. I don't know what the f happened to them. We're still here. <laughs> Acting like we don't have a place to be. Okay, y'all, so I am so late. I have a dentist appointment today. And um, right after the dentist appointment, I'm going to my parents' house. It's so funny because I told my dad I'm coming on Friday, which is today. I'm helping my dad with something. And also, it's like time to hang out with family. You know what I mean? And so they know I'm coming. Literally a couple minutes ago, my dad just texted me, it's Friday, dot, dot, dot. Am I in trouble here? <laughs> Why are you texting me with the dot, dot, dot? What's going on? That man just missed me. You know, the way parents show love is different for everybody. This is my current fit. I got this top from Amazon. These leggings are the most comfortable leggings I've ever worn. They're from this company called Story. I never heard of them until they sent me a pair. And yeah, I'm obsessed. They're so comfortable. And then they don't do the whole weird, like, butt ruching, whatever. And then I just got, got on some new balances. Ooh, I feel like I'm out of breath. Thank you so much. Wow, that's like an electronic toothbrush? Yes. Oh wow, okay nice, nice, thank you so much. I just left the dentist and oh my God, my dentist gave me a Christmas gift. This is a Christmas gift that I forgot to pick up. It's literally March and she remembered and she gave me and my brother a Christmas gift because we both go to her and oh my God, she fully gave us an electronic toothbrush. And it's crazy because I've literally been talking about how I want an electronic toothbrush but I just like have been procrastinating. Wow. And for anyone that's interested, she's been doing my Invisalign. I literally have like three trays left until I'm done. Like. I'm so happy, like I cannot wait to just be done with Invisalign. I think it's been like a year. If you haven't been thinking about doing Invisalign, literally just do it because I procrastinated for a long time. A little shout out, but the place that I go to is called Blush Dental. It's in Houston, obviously, and they've just been so amazing. It just feels good to be confident about your teeth. It's not that I grew up insecure about my teeth, it's just that other people would make comments about it. Like my top row, and I think the reason I wasn't insecure is because my top row is like perfect. <laughs> There'll be some people making comments about my my crooked bottom row. That's when I would be a little bit insecure because it's like, dang, like I could barely, I don't even notice it. Like I felt like it was normal, but it's so crazy when I look at photos now. Why was I even a lot? Why did I speak? And I know now y'all are gonna go and look at old videos. It's okay because we're here. <laughs> We here now, so it don't even matter. That's so crazy because growing up, my parents never really had money to give me braces. Like my mom always went, wanted me to get my teeth done, okay? And we didn't have money to do it, so I just had to live with the fact that I had crooked teeth. And obviously when YouTube started to take off, I realized, okay, I need to start investing in the looks. I remember I got the rudest comment ever. It was so passive aggressive. She was like, what did she say? I took a screenshot. I found the comment. <laughs> This girl! She said, girl, two million subscribers and you haven't done a bunch of plastic surgery or gotten your teeth done. Wow, that's new to see on the internet these days. <sighs> I started to get some comments here and there and that's when I decided, you know what, let's get the teeth done, okay? The funds are here, let's just do it. Uh-oh! Y'all, I'm literally dying right now because Sorry, I haven't even driven off because I found an old video that me and my sister filmed on Dub Smash. I am such a loser, <laughs> like, oh my God. Hold on, look at this. This is the craziest video I've seen in such a long time. This is me. What? What? I'm sorry if you knew me back then. That's all I have to say. Why do I move like that? Just got to the house ah! and my dad got me a gift. Y'all, here, thank you, mom. Thank you, thank you. Ew, I feel like annoying just vlogging every moment. <laughs> just walked in and I'm fed. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Going to pick up my sister. Oh my god, my dad got me such a nice gift like those boots. Come on, that's something my dad always does. Like with my mom, he's just that type of guy. Like he would always be shopping for bags and then randomly buy my mom like bags or shoes or pants and stuff. And so this is the first time he's ever gotten me something like that. Like those boots, excuse me. And sometimes, like in situations like that, I feel so awkward recording because the whole time I was unboxing the gift, he was literally like peeking from um, the living room and just watching me open it. 
with a smile on his face. And even when I'm saying thank you, he's just like, it's cool, it's all right. <laughs> I just feel so appreciative. Whoa, wait, you're actually an athlete. Hey, you wanna say something? Hey y'all, I'm like a fan of Corrizi. You should definitely subscribe to her. Period. <laughs> Of course, because she's like the best YouTuber ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Oh, so sweet. Oh, Tiffany, girl, if you're watching this, love you. I was eating my salad mm -hmm. and you interrupted my meal. What? The night has come to an end. Hey, y'all. Are you sad? Yeah. No. She's leaving me behind. Chamoka is coming. Where are thou? Like what? She's spending the night. Yes, I am. She wanted a change in scenery. It looks like you're comfortable. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not forcing her to sleep on that couch. She's not even sleeping there. She's just gonna watch TV a little bit. Don't make it, don't, don't. This is so like fun, like, oh my God. She really wanted to come. Oh. <laughs> And now she's just eating candy. This will probably be the last time I pick up the camera. Okay, ciao, see you tomorrow. Say good night. Good night. Bye. Hola, it's a new day, it's a new slay. Y'all, I have allergies, I keep on sneezing. It is Sunday, March 12th, and I spent this morning cleaning up my closet before. This is the after. You know, it's not perfect. Let's be real. It's not perfect. We got the little bags here. I don't even want to show too much because that's not the final product, okay? But that's what it is. And I can't stay in there too long because I'm gonna start sneezing. But yeah, right now I'm about to go to my parents' house because I'm dropping off my sister and then also I'm helping my dad with something. Oh my God, I feel like I'm about to sneeze again. Like, this is so annoying. I got this like hoodie jacket thing from Zara. <laughs> These jeans, super old, I don't even know where they're from, to be honest. Um, Off-white sneakers and Louis Vuitton backpack. Or, sorry, purse. Wow, it is getting sunny. This means summer is coming. Okay, let's go! New day, new slate, y'all. It is Monday, March 13th. I'm just now getting my day started. I woke up this morning kind of slow and I chugged a whole bunch of coffee and I've been trying to get work done, but I feel like because I'm at home, I just feel like I can't get like in the zone. I just got ready, I'm gonna go to Starbucks to work a little bit and I think I'm gonna be meeting up with Doris there because she needs to get some work done too. I feel like most of my days and the last couple of days in this vlog, I feel like it's been very chill, relaxed, but honestly, that's really how most of my days are. Like, it's nothing crazy. And also, if you've watched my vlogs long enough, you know that this is honestly my uniform. Like, I live in a top like this and some leggings. That's it. And then we just change up the kick, so it seems like I'm doing something new. This is the errands fit, this is the, the coffee shop fit, every time. I don't care. This is the fit for today. I got my hair just like in a high pony. Nothing crazy. All black fit. And then some shoes. They're from Nike. They're cute. And another reason I love wearing black, I look snatched. Let's be very, very real for a second. For a second. Black makes you snatched. Like, oh my God, okay. Two. I just got in my car and it's cold. Why is it cold, Houston? It was so hot yesterday. How was it cold? This is what I don't get about this city. Y'all are not consistent. Ugh. Some tea for you guys. Courtney has lice in three of her wigs. Three out of five of them. It's getting crazy. We've been here for a while and still haven't gotten work done. But yeah, it's not our fault because the outlets were barely working, but now I'm about to try and actually work. So we leave it in. Well, I didn't get to edit like I wanted to, but now off to the apartment. Doris is coming. See, see you in a few. Whoa. Yes, let the spirit move you. Yes. Sometimes I wish, oh my God, let the spirit move you, sister. Sometimes I wish I was an adult during this time. Like, I just know the clubs were fun. Everything was just a blast. 